As a clergy person, I'd like to welcome you all to the apocalypse. Pull up a chair and make yourself uncomfortable. If when you think of an apocalypse, you picture a scary, doom-filled punishment from above, you're not alone. Originally though, apocalyptic literature existed not to scare the bejesus out of children so that they would be good boys and girls, but to proclaim a big, hope-filled idea that dominant powers are not ultimate powers. Empires fall, tyrants fade, systems die, God's still around. In Greek, the word apocalypse means to uncover, to peel away, to show what's underneath. That's what this country has been experiencing in recent months. There's not been an, a sudden uptick in sexual misconduct and assault in our country. The Me Too and Time's Up movements are simply exposing what was already there. The male domination at the center of the sexual harassment issue is being revealed apocalyptically and in prime time. Wokeness and policy change are a start, but not enough to dig out the full infection. This is why I welcome our moment of uncovering. We need to see how deep the heresy of domination runs and then remind one another that dominant powers are not ultimate powers. So if those who came before looked to the Bible to justify their dominance, then let us look to it to justify our dignity. It's in there. Theology and liturgy are just too potent to be left to those who would use them, even unwittingly, to justify and protect their own dominance. And sometimes the origin of the harm really can be the most powerful source of healing. Mm -hmm.